Hello, this week Up and Running features companies from the northeast of the country. It's our second last round before our final on the 24th of June. The overall top four scoring companies will go through to that final. So join us Monday next at 7 on RT1. Looking ahead to this evening here on RT1, there are two films for you. The intrepid upholders of law and order, the members of the Police Academy, can be seen at 9.30. And later in the evening, Jack Nicholson directs and stars in an offbeat comic western, Gone South. Now, the four o'clock news summary with Ken Hammond. Good afternoon. There was a massive security presence this morning at the first of the funerals of the three IRA men shot dead by the British Army in Koch in County Tyrone on Tuesday. The funeral of Pete Ryan is taking place in Ardbo about now. It was one of the biggest security operations ever mounted for a paramilitary funeral in the north. Hundreds of armed RUC men in riot gear carrying plastic bullet guns took up position outside and around Tony Doris's family home at Mina Park in Coal Island. Sinn Féin leaders Jerry Adams and Martin McGuinness, who were in the house, said the very heavy security cordon was an attempt to intimidate the mourners, and they said the remains would not leave until the police moved back. The local parish priest, Canon Lane MacIntaggart, also called on the RUC to retreat. On the way to the Church of the Holy Family, the cortege was preceded by the same heavy force of RUC men. The RUC in Belfast has now identified the woman whose body was discovered at the entrance to a quarry north of the city this morning. And in Derry, a Sinn Féin councillor, Hugh Brady, is one of four men arrested for questioning following the killing of an alleged IRA informer who was found shot dead last night. The woman's body was discovered by workers as they arrived at McQuillan's Quarry on the Hightown Road overlooking North Belfast shortly after 8 o'clock this morning. It was lying face downwards and had serious head injuries. The area was sealed off for examination to establish whether or not the victim had been murdered. In Derry, police investigating the killing of 21-year-old Rory Finnis have made a number of arrests. His hooded, barefoot body was found last night behind shops in Central Drive in the Cregan area. He'd been shot in the head by the IRA, which alleged he'd been a member and had been a police informer for four years. The Taoiseach Mr Hohey met a delegation from the SDLP led by John Hume this morning to review the Northern Ireland talks. The meeting followed agreement between the four Northern parties to begin talks on June 17th. This morning's meeting, described as a private one between the SDLP and the government, got underway here at government buildings at 11 o'clock. The Taoiseach was accompanied by the Minister for Justice, Mr Ray Burke, and officials of the Department of Foreign Affairs. The SDLP leader, Mr John Hume, was accompanied by Mr Seamus Mallon and Mr Eddie McGrady. On the agenda, a review of the current situation now in relation to the talks, the selection of a chairperson for the second strand between the British and Irish governments, and the question of a timetable. And that's it from the newsroom until the 6-1 with Anne Doyle and Sean Dignan. Good afternoon. Becker and Agassi are still battling it out on Network 2 in the French Open Tennis Championships. Here on 1 at 4.30, the Foresight Saga after Sons and Daughters. <laughs>